In this episode, I'm going to tear down a security camera. This is one that I had to exchange at work because it uh, went offline. And when I took it down, I kind of figured out fairly quickly why it went offline. And we're going to take it apart together and see what happened to this one. This is what happens when the waterproof things are not really quite as waterproof as they claim to be. Let's check it out. This is an ADC camera that I took down uh, the other day at work because it wasn't working. And it was mounted like this. So the installer, whoever installed it, mounted the mounting bracket to the bottom of uh, a gutter and it was sitting like this. The problem was it was mounted on a board that wasn't that wide and this whole part was exposed and uh, I think what happened is water got it. Why well, no water got into it because when I took the camera down water was still coming out of it as water is still coming out of it today. This has been sitting for the last couple days and uh, the camera got wet as you can see. When I took it down water started pouring out of a so-called waterproof product. So I figured since this one had to be replaced anyway that we would just see how far the water penetrated in this thing before I ship it back. So on these cameras here there's a little hatch on the bottom and it looks like they support an SD card even though uh, the application that we're using we don't use an SD card. It's all cloud based for the monitored alarm systems that I maintain. But there should be an SD card slot here. I'm just wondering if any water got into the actual camera itself and it kind of looks like it did because uh, I see moisture here. I wonder if anything's going to come out of it when I, if I shake it. Yeah, yeah, there's, you can see water got into this camera. So-called uh, waterproof camera got water into it. And I think what happened on this was even though it's waterproof, it's designed to be mounted like this on a wall so that water doesn't actually run down into the camera. This part here is sealed and where the cable goes in it probably does have a seal there as well but the fact that it had been mounted like that allowed the water to accumulate inside the base of the camera here and it eventually wicked its way in where the wire went in. That's what I think happened but I'm just wondering if I can actually open this camera up and see whether we can see how much water got into it. So say it's supposed to be sealed but I'm sure that it probably will pop apart. So let's do a little bit of forensic investigating now that we know what happened to this camera. Where did it leak and why did it leak? You know because inquiring minds want to know. This thing is had to be replaced under warranty and you know cost the company money so I'm going to be shipping this thing back um, you know in, in the return uh, pile but obviously it's going to get recycled because at this point it's shot. It, it doesn't turn on. It lights up red. The light lights up red on the front um, it, it does not try to pair. It's a Wi-Fi camera and normally when you reset them you hold the button down to reset them and they go into pairing mode and you see it show up as a as an access point and you click on your phone and connect it to the Wi-Fi network that way. This thing's not even emitting uh, a Wi-Fi signal at all so and the fact that the water is coming out of it when I shake it um, indicates that water has gotten into it. Anyway, let's see if I can figure out how to get this thing open. So this does pop out the front. There is a, uh, there is a gasket on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at all the water that's in this thing. It's full of water. No wonder it's not working. They do have a, they do have a gasket on the front here as you can see. But you can also see all the moisture that's in here. I look at all the water that poured out on the bench. Now I say this thing's been sitting in my truck for the past uh, four days drying because I took it out of service on today is uh, Tuesday and I took this thing out of service on was it Friday morning I think it was I think it was Friday morning I took this thing out of service it was like my first call of the day and uh, get sent to a camera that's not working Okay, so let's see how much more, I mean, you can see, you can see the moisture on there. Let's just see how much more uh, water is in this thing. Uh, these cameras have um, infrared LEDs for them. And it looks like they're held together by a, a couple of screws. Let's 
I guess I'm gonna need my, my, my teeny turner for this. I need a little more torque than I can get off of that other one. You know, because inquiring minds wanna know where that water got in, which I suspect was the, uh, at the back. funny because I talked to one of the other guys and I was telling him about it. He goes, oh, they can't leak. They're hermetically sealed. And I was telling him, well, it did because water poured out of it when I took it down. That's how I knew it was wet. Because water poured out of this thing when I, when I initially took it down. These screws go all the way through. Okay, so there's the there's that board out of the way. Now there's another. I guess that's maybe the antenna. I think that's the. No, that's just a piece of. It's a spacer of some type. So there's the camera board there, and it unplugs from the back. And it's interesting that all the water was in this part here. I guess because the way it had been it had been hanging it it was it was mounted like that and water got in and ran down inside the uh, it would have been sitting like in this orientation like that water got in to the back here I'm just curious as to where it got in so if I can get this other little circuit board out in the back here there's the Wi-Fi antenna right there there's two of them one Wi-Fi antenna there there's another Wi-Fi antenna over there probably one for the uh, one for the two gigahertz and the other for the uh, 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 five gigahertz band, I would think. They just plug together. There's a plug here that plugs in down there, and then there's this other plug that plugs into the front for the. Uh, for the LED lights. See this they just they just plug together. Just like that. There are more screws down here, but there's one of them that's kind of blocked. If I loosen off these nuts, I can probably take that board out and get to the back plate. That was a heat sink. That heat sink compound presses up against this. Oh, there's another chip back here with another heat sink. Now this is interesting because this is all glued. This is all glued here where the wires come in. But yet there's there's still moisture in the back here.
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you can see, even though the wire's sealed here, where it goes in, you can see water is sitting on here, right? You can see it. And there is, this is the this is actually the base that it, it uh, is attached to. There is supposedly a gasket here. I mean, the wire comes right through, but th there is supposedly a gasket here, but... Uh, Obviously, it didn't seal the it didn't seal the camera because you know water. You can see water on on the inside of this uh, on the inside of this plate, and water uh, got into the camera. I don't know whether it leaked through here. I mean, this looks like it's glued pretty good. It may have wicked its way through the twisted wires. That's the only way. That's the only way I can think of is that water got into this thing. Is water sat on here in this area here? This seal here probably did its job, but I think probably what happened is because of the way it was mounted, it was mounted like this. So all the water ran down, as you can see. You can see right through there, right? You can see my probably see my hand below here, but that's just that's wide open. Water got in here. Normally, this mounts on a wall, but uh, because it was mounted on a like on a wasn't even a, was it about a one inch wide strip, so the entire area where the cable exits here was not completely covered. So water got in to here, ran down here, sat in the base, got into the base here, and filled this thing up with water uh, as as you can see from the remnants that's still there it must have got into this there's a little o-ring here but uh, our little seal little gasket but it's not real tight it must have just sat on the wires there and wicked its way along being twisted wires it wicked its way along the wires and got in because there's evidence that there's that water got into this thing anyway uh, that's a fail as far as I mean that looks like the the waterproofing on it looks to be actually pretty good But it obviously didn't keep the water out because as we saw when I opened it up the camera was full of water and That is why it failed So now I get the job of putting this thing back together so that I can ship it back and uh, Send it back as a defective unit. So I gotta put this thing all the way back together I wonder if it would work once it's dried out. I bet you if I dry this thing out completely, this thing will start working. But it's going back as defective stock. You know, it's funny, when, when you get products that claim that they are totally waterproof, water always finds a way. It doesn't matter how much waterproofing you put on a product. If it's sitting in water, water is eventually going to win. It's going to find a way in no matter what. At least that's been my experience, is that uh, water always finds a way to wick into something no matter what you do to try and keep it out it's uh, you're you're basically fighting a losing battle because you get wind and rain and moisture and it always tends to get into it that, the other camera that i showed you guys before the one that i had up in my front yard that wasn't even directly exposed to water but somehow it filled up full of water over the course of several months it filled almost completely full right up to the lens it still worked though the camera actually still worked even though it had all that water in it this one here didn't this one went dead but um, Interesting. Just these little slots in the circuit board that line up with these little slots there, 
and that's what uh, puts this thing back together and then the other the top piece the same it's going to have these two little slots that line up with the plastic tabs on the cabinet it lines everything up and then everything just pops together Just snaps in. Just like that. Okay, well, that's that one uh, back together. Oh, I forgot to put that little spacer in. Oh, well, I don't think that's too important because, let's say, this one here is uh, going into the recycle bin. I doubt that anybody's going to be opening this thing up and looking at it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.